For the sixth step of the Rubik's Cube, we need to line up the appropriate colors for this blue uh, square on the top. So we can see here, ignore the orientation, these two being up and these two being on the side. That's not what we're focused on for this step. What we want to make sure is that the corners are in the right spot. Now you can see here that this orange, yellow, and blue corner is in the correct spot. It actually happens to also be oriented correctly, but that's not important for this step. You'll notice that this red, white, and blue corner is not in the right spot. That should be over here in this corner, and uh, the same with these other ones. So what we need to do is sometimes you're going to need to move some of these corners around. So usually when you get to this step, you will have at least one corner that's already in the right position. You may not have one that's in the right position, and if you don't, you perform this move once and it will put one of them in the right position. But assuming that you have one in the right position, most of the time you'll have one in the starting right position. This is the move. You're going to take the piece that is in the right position, and you're going to put it in the top right corner of the front of the cube. Okay? Once you have that, so that's this piece right here. Once you have that, we're going to turn the top one just to get the move started. Okay? Then we're going to turn this right square up, and we're going to make a green bar of three. We're going to turn the top back and break that bar. So now that green cube is in the back here. Now we're going to turn up the left hand side and make another green bar of three. Okay? And now we're going to fix the original green bar of three. So now it's three again. And we're going to put it back on the bottom. Okay, so we know that that other green cube is in the back there, so we're just going to fix that other green bar, fix that left bar, by turning the top. And then we're going to put this back on the bottom. So now the green side is complete and the sides are good. Now, if we look at this top, remember, this was the correct cube. If we look at these other corners, I can see that they're still not correct. Sometimes we need to orient more than once. So we're going to do the same move again, because really, functionally, this has the effect of just shuffling these corners around. Okay? I'm pretty confident if we do it this time that they will all be in the correct position. So again, we're going to start with the correct square in the upper right-hand corner. We're going to turn the top one. We're going to make a green bar. We're going to break a green bar by putting it in the back right. We're going to make a green bar on the left. We're going to fix the right green bar put it on the bottom, we're going to fix the left green bar, and then we're going to put it on the bottom. And now, if we check, remember, this was the one that was already in the correct position. Now you'll notice that the red, yellow, and blue one is in the right position. So is the red, white, and blue one, as well as the blue, orange, and white. So now all the, all the corners are in the correct position. That's all it takes for the sixth step.